from the ruins of an ancient temple to one of the largest treasures in the history of Japan, here are 10 Unearthed Ancient Discoveries. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You, hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 10. Greco-Roman Temple in Egypt The remains of a Greco-Roman temple were discovered at Al Salam in Egypt's western desert, located roughly 2,000 miles in the south of the Mediterranean Sea. Parts of the foundation and main entrance were found, including two limestone lion statues. Also uncovered was an outer wall nearly three feet thick, leading to a front courtyard surrounded on both sides by the entrances to other chambers. Coins, fragments of pottery, and a statue of a man's head were dug out by the archaeologists. It's hard to tell the precise size of the temple and when it was constructed. The discovery might provide some clues about the period of Greco-Roman occupation in Egypt. Aside from serving a religious function, temples during that period were also used as economic hubs. Number 9. Coins of Alexander the Great Explorers of a cave in Israel have discovered a small trove with silver coins and jewelry dating back to the time of Alexander the Great. It is believed that the treasure was hidden there by refugees during an ancient war to be used again once the conflict settled. The authorities announced that the 2,300-year-old treasure was the first of its kind to be found in Israel. One of the coins revealed the image of Alexander the Great, ruler of the region of Macedonia in ancient Greece while the other side depicted Zeus with his arm raised, sitting on his throne. A lot of pottery vessels were also discovered, many of them merging with the limestone sediments. A Hellenistic era clay lamp was also unearthed from the stalactite cave. It contained some agate stones and a part of a well-preserved string of beads. Number 8. Ancient Seal while volunteering in the Temple Mount Sifting Project, a 10-year-old boy from Russia made a remarkable discovery. He found a 3,000-year-old seal dating from the time of King David. It was the first of its kind ever to be found in Jerusalem, depicting the bodies of two animals, one on top of another. Similar designs were found across sites in Israel, all being dated to the 11th to 10th centuries BC. The Temple Mount Sifting Project included more than 170,000 volunteers sifting through tons of earth illegally removed in 1999 from the holy site to build a mosque. Although most of the artifacts were excluded from their archaeological context, their dating could be identified by comparing them to those found at other sites. The credibility of the Bible regarding the existence of Jerusalem during 10th century BC had been debated by archaeologists since the 1990s. However, the dating of the seal supports the evidence of administrative activity that took place upon the Temple Mount at those times. In 2015, the director of the project stated that there were still more than 500,000 finds waiting to be analyzed. Number 7. Upland Moa Claw In a cave expedition of Mount Owen, New Zealand, in 1986, archaeologists came across a huge, well-preserved claw. The mysterious discovery turned out to be the mummified claw of a 3,300-year-old Upland Moa, a species that appeared on Earth around 18 and a half million years ago. The Moa was one of the largest species of birds on the planet. A DNA analysis found that there were at least 10 species of moa, some of them reaching more than 10 feet in height. The upland moa, however, was one of the smallest species, reaching no more than 4.2 feet, living in the higher, cooler parts of the country. The moa birds disappeared centuries ago in one of the most rapid, man-facilitated extinctions in history. Number 6. The Rosetta Stone Back in 1799, during one of Napoleon Bonaparte's expeditions in Egypt, a French soldier found a big black slab near the town of Rosetta. Archaeologists later discovered that it contained passages written in three different characters, Greek, Demotic, and Egyptian hieroglyphics. 
It appears that it was inscribed by priests to honor Ptolemy V, the king of Egypt during the second century BC. The Greek passage states that all of the three scripts had the same meaning, which led to a better understanding of the Egyptian hieroglyphics, a method of communication that has been a mystery for more than 2,000 years. The four feet long and two and a half feet wide slab was taken by Napoleon, as were all the other important artifacts that were found. After the British defeated Napoleon in 1801, they took possession of the stone. It's been housed at the British Museum in London ever since. For a short period of time, during World War I, the Rosetta Stone was moved to an underground location so that it would be safe from potential bombings. Number 5. Venetian Vampire Back in the days, slaying vampires through the heart in order to kill them was apparently not considered enough. Just to make sure, people also stuck bricks in their jaws. Such a skeleton was discovered in Italy among several plague victims. The process of decomposition was not being well understood. The belief in vampires was really widespread through the Middle Ages. While reopening mass burials during plague times, diggers might have seen blood-like liquids flowing from the corpses' mouths, leading them to think that they could be traces of the victim's blood. Some thought that vampires were also the cause of the disease, so inserting objects like bricks and stones in their mouths was thought to stop the plague. Found in a mass grave near Venice, the woman's skeleton turned out to be unusually old, which suggests the fact that she might have also been accused of being a witch. Number 4. Qin Shi Huang's Terracotta Army In March 1974, while digging a water well nearly one mile around Qin Emperor's tomb, farmers discovered a huge collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the army of China's first emperor. Dating from the late 3rd century BC, the army was buried with the emperor and had the purpose of protecting him in the afterlife. The figures include more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses. The human figures vary in height according to their roles, the toilets of all being the generals. Other figures were found buried in pits nearby, officials, musicians, strongmen and acrobats. The army is part of a much larger cemetery with tomb monuments called a necropolis. Measured with the help of ground penetrating radars, the area is thought to be approximately 38 square miles. Constructed as a microcosm of the Imperial Palace, the Necropolis covers a large area around the First Emperor's tomb. It consists of several halls, stalls and offices, as well as a park placed around the tomb mound. Number 3. Screaming Mummy Another great discovery in archaeology is that of the Screaming Mummy which took place in 1886. While unwrapping mummies of many kings and queens in Egypt, Gaston Maspero found something horrifying, a mummy with a very disturbing face. Its mouth was wide open, like it was screaming. The identity of the corpse has baffled archaeologists for more than a century. It was very well preserved, with its limbs bound in leather and the body covered in sheepskin, which indicated that the man was considered unclean. Also, the face indicated that he might have been poisoned or hanged. After years of speculations, researchers suggested that the body could be that of Prince Pentawari, the son of Pharaoh Ramses III, and that he was sentenced to death after plotting to kill his father. They suspected that, unlike other traitors, he was given a chance to take his own life because of his noble status instead of being burnt. By doing so, he could preserve his body and reach the afterlife, according to Egyptian beliefs. Eventually, modern testing techniques confirmed shared paternal DNA between the preserved mummy of Ramses III and the screaming mummy. Number 2. Griffin Warrior Dug up near the town of Phylos in 2015, this tomb of a Mycenaean priest is thought to be nearly 3,500 years old. He was named 
the Griffin Warrior after an ivory plaque with the image of a griffin that was buried with him. Researchers also found gold and silver cups, armor, weapons, and no less than 50 gold and gemstone seals engraved with intricate imagery. One of the seals contains an extremely detailed image of a warrior slaying two enemies. The carving was less than an inch and a half long. How the stone was carved is somewhat of a mystery, as no type of magnifying devices were found in the ancient Greek world. The image is considered to represent one of the greatest pieces of Aegean art, being compared with acclaimed works from Renaissance artists like Michelangelo. Number 1. Largest Cash Treasure in Japan's History Hidden on the island of Honshu in Japan, archaeologists found a treasure trove dating back to the 15th or 16th century. After years of excavating a complex of buildings near the city of Hasuda, they came across the largest monetary finding in the country's history, a clay picture containing hundreds of thousands of coins. According to the archaeologist Yoshiyuku Takisi, the coins casted in China may have been buried for preservation of property during troubled times or as an offering to a deity of the earth. They were tied with ropes passing through holes in the middle of each coin. A wooden tablet found in the rim of the jar indicated that there were 260,000 coins. The archaeological find is linked to a period known as the Age of Warring States, a central time for the medieval samurai.